let's talk about the specific programming language approach during the course. Mm -hmm. How long uh, do we teach certain languages? And maybe more importantly, why? Yeah, absolutely. So we start off by teaching Ruby. Ruby is a very friendly language to learn. It was, in fact, designed for this purpose. So the first two weeks are being able to uh, do basic coding challenges and basic uh, games and projects all in Ruby. So after that, we actually teach them SQL, which is the language of databases and information storage. And then we teach them a Ruby version of SQL, basically called Active Record. So they're again able to go back to using Ruby, but they understand the Ruby methods better because we taught them how SQL works and how to use SQL. So um, that approach is really important because we really teach the underlying, like how things work, how do databases work, how does querying them work, before we give a much friendlier um, way to go about doing the same type of code. So you could do it in SQL or in Ruby. So the first four weeks are all devoted to Ruby and SQL and creating an application that uses Ruby on Rails. So even with the first four weeks, you'll, you're already able to create an entire application that has um, a front end, a back end, and has a database. The only thing that it's missing really is more responsive design on the front end. So after that, the course goes into teaching JavaScript and teaching the React library. So what React allows us to do is to build single page applications. So what this means is that even though the URL might seem like it's changing at the top, you're actually not requesting the page each time you navigate. It's just the app loads once, and then when you use it, it's much, much faster. So typically, um, before, when you would be clicking through websites, it would reload the page each time. And if you had a slow network, that was very, very noticeable. Now you just load the app once, and clicking through it um, doesn't have that lag time. 